I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're diving deep with Reverend Marcus Morrow's enlightening book called Catch the Rebels. Born from a lifetime of faith and musical expression, the Reverend's debut book aims to uplift and guide readers through identifying and overcoming the negative thought patterns that obstruct spiritual growth. We're delighted to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight. We thank our team at Atticus Publishing for helping us put him in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support writers like him by subscribing to our channel and by purchasing his important book. The links are below this interview. Reverend, great to see you here today on Spotlight. Good to see you. Tell us Thank a little bit help. about the title of this book, Catch the Rebels. What are we talking about here? Oh, well, Catch the Rebels um, actually derives out of scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 in our Bible um, that talks about uh, capturing every thought and bringing it into captivity to Jesus Christ. Um, and there is a particular version that mentions um, and calls those thoughts rebels. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so um, uh, really inspired by a nephew that committed suicide um, and I wanted to address uh, the fact that we can um, be a better help in our communities and to ourselves if we um, start with ourselves trying to better our thinking patterns and making sure that we're thinking those things that are uh, pure and lovely and things that bring hope and, and joy. Uh, so that's really um, the gist of why the book was written. And um, I'm hoping that it will uh, help a lot of people. Uh, I try to make sure that it's very simple and not too complex. But um, um, so I'm just really um, overjoyed at the fact that um, it's, it's out there now and um, people are reading it. Absolutely. It'll help a lot of people in their lives and on their spiritual journeys, for sure. My mom had a saying, she used to always say to me, it's more important what you put in your mind than what you put in your stomach. Um, it's kind of an old time saying, but it's very, very true. I mean, what happens up here dictates our whole lives, right? And whether it's in accordance Absolutely. with the scripture and in accordance with uh, God's ways, right? Absolutely. Uh, it's, it is, um, many uh, ministers have, worded it this way, the battlefield is the mind. Hmm. And so we we want to address everything that enters our mind. Or uh, Another way the Bible um, teaches us is that we have uh, gates uh, and those gates give access to different principles and teachings. Um, and, and there are so many uh, things that we have to deal with concerning our minds that we, we want to make sure the right um, teachings and the right principles are being entered into our ear gate and our eye gate and, uh, because all of that affects the way that we think. Absolutely. Talk to me a little bit about the role that music and worship play in your approach to overcoming negative thoughts and re renewing the mind. Wow. Well, music is a vital role uh, and has always been um, in my life. My father was a pastor and uh, my family, we followed our past, uh, our father uh, as he ministered in various um, uh, congregations. And we always sang and he played the piano. And he taught us how to, to sing and how to play music. And I actually uh, went to school for music and uh, majored in trumpet and voice. And so uh, music is very important to me. Uh, I've had the opportunity to record and win uh, awards through uh, the Rhythm of Gospel Awards uh, as an artist. And so I continue to use music every, uh, every week, um, singing and praising God for his goodness and hoping that through music, it um, also... Uh, gives us an avenue to address uh, the way we think. Mm. 
Absolutely. And again, just like the words we read, the music we put in our ears and into our minds affects us as well. There's a lot of negative music out there today as well uh, that is disrespectful for women, that is violent, that is anti-Christian. Uh, I would, I'd imagine you'd suggest tuning that stuff out, right? Absolutely. Um, and, um, you know, I would, I would say, especially if uh, it, it depends upon the individual if we have the ability to weed out um, what is not conducive towards um, uh, proper living or uh, if it's not conducive to giving us uh, the ability to think uh, soundly. Yeah, we, we need to uh, not listen to those things again. And I agree it is so much negativity uh, in music. Um, I try to, um, everything being a pastor, I try to make sure that everything that we do uh, will bring uh, you know, or shed light on who our Lord and Savior is. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and that means that we need to be really positive. And, and the best way to do that is not to talk about ourselves, but to talk about Jesus Christ. And, yeah. and that's, I think he's the best example that we could give through any means, through music or through writing. And so. Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. The answers are there. They're in the Bible. They're in the scripture. They're in the gospel. Um, if you want to live your life in accordance with Jesus Christ, no doubt. Um, what message do you hope readers take away from your book? I think in short, the, the message is um, that first and foremost, it's our responsibility to control the way we think because no one else can think for us. We, we have to take responsibility for our actions. Um, and uh, the first place that that needs to start is in our minds. Mm -hmm. um, so I would like for the reader to take away the fact that you can control your uh, thinking patterns. You can, you can weed out every negative thought. You can capture it uh, with the power of Jesus Christ. You can um, think rightly uh, and you have the ability to learn and to grow and to become a better human being and contribute positively to our society through learning the right principles. Yeah. And I guess that extends to, you know, internal disorders like anxiety and depression as well. Right. Absolutely. I, I believe it does. Now I'm not an expert or I, I never claim to be uh, uh, an expert in this area of um, uh, mental illness. Uh, but yes, I do believe this type of book will help with, uh, such things as depression, anxiety, um, fears. Um, and, and I address a lot of things about uh, even with uh, past um, relationships and um, money issues, uh, just a lot of different hangups that we may have had in our past or, or habits that need to be broken. Um, I, I think all of those to me are spiritual issues that uh, can be addressed and this book um, helps to, to address it and confront those issues. So you look at it in a very practical way, really, too. You know, what are your bad habits? What are your relationship problems? What are your financial issues? And uh, by changing the way we think, we can change our lives. Absolutely. Yeah. Tell me a little I, I, bit. Go ahead. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, I truly believe that 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 is the key. The, the way we think in uh, in our society in every community um, is uh, going to contribute to uh, our success or our downfall. Mm -hmm. uh, if we're not thinking rightly, then it's going to have a negative effect on everyone that's surrounding us. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about your ministry. My ministry is um, we've we are known as Victory in Jesus Ministries of North Carolina. 
Uh, now we go by the name of New Victory Center. Uh, as I mentioned, we've been in existence for this year will be 28 years. Um, we started our ministry out as an outreach ministry, we went out into the community, uh, trying to help uh, people in any way that we could. Um, and so that's our desire still today is to just to be a help and a blessing to our community. Um, for the most part, as we mentioned music, we are known for uh, the music that we uh, present in our worship. We try to um, uh, make sure that we are being an exemplary uh, example of what it means to be a follower of Christ in our community. So uh, I believe it's a loving, uh, we're not a huge in number, but we are a powerful uh, small group of loving people that uh, we just want to display the love of Christ and, and help people to see that there is a, a better way. There's there's a choice, uh, and and uh, Jesus Christ is that that choice. Wonderful. Well, it sounds like you're doing wonderful work with your ministry. Reverend Marcus Morrow is also doing wonderful work with his writing. The name of the book is Catch the Rebels. It is born from a lifetime of faith and musical expression and his ministry as well. It's his debut book, and it aims to uplift and guide readers through identifying and overcoming the negative thoughts, the bad thoughts, the troubling thoughts, the thoughts that can derail your life when you're trying to have a life in accordance with the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Reverend, thank you so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time, sir. To the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time until next time on Spotlight.